a lightweight bout between Jeremy Lil Heathen Stevens and Rafael Dos Anjos. Well, when history looks back at the body of work of this man, Rafael Dos Anjos, not just one of the more accomplished Brazilian fighters of all time, maybe even a fringe Hall of Famer, still getting it done now in a second UFC division. It's unbelievable that he is still able to be so successful after being here so long. I remember after he lost to Habib Nurmagomedov, the next time you saw him, he was a different guy. From the Jason High fight to beating Vincent Henderson, Nate Diaz, Anthony Pettis, winning the title and then defending against Donald Cerrone, you understood that he he had made the necessary changes in order to become a UFC champion. He's still doing that in a new division at 170 pounds. And most amazing for me is that this dude started 0-2 in the UFC back in 2008, Unreal. had a must-win in 2009, and has gone on to become one of the better lightweights and welterweights of his era. Rafael Dos Anjos finds himself in another massive spot here tonight. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. We said it inside the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 13 losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Dos Anjos. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, 18 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of San Diego, California, Jeremy Lil Heathen Stevens! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty clear. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Dos Anjos not having it. Good punch, Lance. Got the same He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the camera. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Stevens gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Switch, he lands the body. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem.
And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Misses again with a right punch. So just over 20 total strikes. And now found the target for Jeremy Stevens. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single hollow tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. So Sanchez's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Well, single collar tie here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, that's a good strike there by Rafael Dos Anjos. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Stevens's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guards, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. All collar tie. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Separate. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Don't finish his fight. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Stuff to take down, no problem. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And they separate. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Was a great single. Oh. He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did no, I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, Doc. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Dos Anjos. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go with round two. Jeremy Stevens and Rafael Dos Anjos. We'll see if he can finish. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Dos Anjos. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of is better him than me. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Dos Anjos' lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Went for the inside leg kick. Again, in the clinch. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Stevens gets tagged yet again. It's hard to remember.
remember a fight in which he has been hit this often. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Stevens gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Watch the strike. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to... Oh! Holy smokes! He put him to sleep! RDA gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. All right, so the unofficial numbers tell you 77 total strikes have found the target thus far for Jeremy Stevens. Well, the accuracy rate not great, below 40%, now 38% on the connections against Rafael Dos Anjos. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Dos Anjos is well. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Lands a nice one, too. Now goes in and secures the takedown. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Under two minutes now to go. one that's going to break him. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boy, tie plump. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch lands over the top. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Every time he's got That'll it. do it! Herb Dean steps in! He's got it, he's got it! Oh, absolutely one for the highlight board right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jeremy Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out cold. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.